We are in South Dakota at Custer State Park. And today, I'd like to show you some of the best drives in this amazing location. Let's go. This is so cool. Barely fitting. I don't know how vans are making it through here. I am totally surrounded by bison right now. But wow, would you check this out? But you get the idea. You come through this tunnel and then straight ahead, boom. There's Mount Rushmore. USA Today rated this the number one state park in the country. I'm not surprised. So our first stop today is the Wildlife Loop Road. 18 miles long, and as the name implies, this is the place you want to be, they say, if you wish to see wildlife. And our main goal today is to see the bison, a herd of about a thousand animals. But for now, let me show you these feral burrows that are grazing off in the distance. What an incredible sight. They won't leave the road. And they're walking right past me. I feel safe in the car, but this is amazing. What an experience. I'm giving them their, their safe distance and uh, moving at a slow pace. They don't, they just keep looking at me. They're not, they don't appear aggressive. I know they can be, but uh, they don't really seem to mind me at all. They're definitely not intimidated or frightened by the car that is in such close proximity to them. I've never had something like this happen to me in the past. This is a once in a lifetime thrill. I'm just keeping my distance and allowing these guys to take their own sweet time to get down the road, inching along, probably averaging less than a, a mile an hour, but uh, I could stay here forever and enjoy this. This is incredible. Because of the roadblock, we're at the end of the line, and there's a small, tiny little one house visitor center here. Let's go inside and see if they're open. Right here in the corner is a large prairie dog town. Oh, okay. um, on top of prairie dogs, be on the lookout for badgers. Uh, we see badgers in there sometimes, coyotes in there sometimes, chasing the um, prairie dogs around. Then you can either Come up here to Swint Road, come back down this way, see what you see, and then you can come around, or you can take this all the way across over to, you back to the wildlife loop over here. The, the two other big things that people come to the park for are Iron Mountain Road and Needles Highway. These are just spectacular. So we are now approaching the Prairie Dog Village. All right, so that's the best I could do for you. Compared to the prairie dogs that I've seen in the Badlands, these guys are much more timid, very skittish, and probably smaller in stature as well. But um, let's move on. Now you see why they're nicknamed the Begging Burrows. We're on the edge of Custer State Park. This is the beautiful town of Custer, South Dakota. We're gonna make our way in the subway, get ourselves a breakfast sandwich, and then move over to drive number two, which is the Needles Highway. Come to Sylvan Lake, you get on Needles Highway, you have more narrow bridges or tunnels to go through. Same type of road, twists and turns, absolutely beautiful. This is where the cathedral spires are, the, the granite spires that go 100 feet. We are on highway number two right now of three that we plan to travel today. This is the ever famous Needles Highway. Uh, this is one of the most popular drives in the park. It is a scenic drive and it begins right here at Sylvan Lake, 14 miles long. We're gonna show you the whole road right now. Let's go. This is a pretty cool experience. The Needle's Eye Tunnel. 
I'm barely fitting. I don't know how vans are making it through here. Oh, wow, would you check this out? Woo, this is special. This, uh oh, <laughs> you better not be coming forward, buddy. Yeah, baby. That was neat. I can't believe this bus is going through this tunnel. Here we go, tunnel number two. If the bus fit through, I should have no problem at all. Wow. This side, uh, closeness car indicators keep blinking. Thinking I'm about to hit some, uh, that made no sense at all. So Neil's Highway actually gets its name from these granite spires that seem to just pierce the sky. So this is pretty cool. It's actually on this very spot that historian Don Robinson and his family broke down in their Model T Ford and they looked up into the granite hills and they envisioned some mighty Westerners engraved in the granite stone. Guys like Bridger and Kit Carson and Red Cloud. So they go out, they find Gutslam Borglum who comes out here, surveys the granite, realizes this is not a good spot for carving. So he goes kind of down the road a little bit and you know the rest of the story. That's where we get Mount Rushmore with the inspiration at this very point on the Needles Highway. Doing some research on the Needles Highway. This entire road was planned by Peter Norbeck, who was a governor of South Dakota. Did it on foot and horseback. And then they completed the road in 1922. Some fascinating history. Found a little cave off the side of the road here. Let's just see how far this thing goes in. <laughs> that looks like that's about it. Well, you win some, you lose some. You never know unless you stop and take a look though. Let's move on. So we just hit Highway 16. That is the end of the line for the Needles Highway. Obviously, you could start at Highway 16 and take it up to Sylvan Lake as well. Great drive, and we are moving on to drive number three right now. So we have just entered our last and final journey. This is Iron Mountain Road. From here to here is 14 miles, 317 curves in 14 miles. <laughs> There's three tunnels at the end. The first one and the third one, as you come up to the tunnel, look through, perfectly frames Mount Rushmore. If you're looking for the most dramatic views, they're probably within the first three miles just beyond Sylvan Lake. The rest of it kind of takes you through a forest. Still very attractive though. If you drive it straight through, because the speed limit max is at 35, it'll take you about an hour or so. But this is not meant to be a highway. This is a scenic byway. You want to take your time. You want to enjoy the sights. Well, right above my finger is your first view of Mount Rushmore National Memorial. This is the Peter Norbeck Overlook. Three more miles on this road, you hit Mount Rushmore. But this is kind of your first great overview 
to take a look at the actual monument itself. This is tunnel number three. The first and third tunnels frame Rushmore. Obviously it's a little bit on the darker side. I tried to wait till the sunset thinking that the glare would go away, but we pretty much have a pretty dark view, but you get the idea. You come through this tunnel and then straight ahead, boom, there's Mount Rushmore. So we are now back in Custer. That was a full day today, but if you wish to do all three of these drives like I did, you can accomplish them all in one day at a rather leisurely pace. I want to give a shout out to all the folks that went long before us about 100 years ago that had the vision, that put work into it, that funded these projects. All these amazing roads came into place because of these individuals, and I just think they need to be remembered. True patriots and something that we enjoy so often today in our national park system. But if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to America's Parks. And remember, there's always room for you on every national park adventure. From Custer, South Dakota, we are signing off. Thanks for watching.